next one that we're going to do is for the supraspinatus, supraspinatus muscle, which is shoulder abduction. This is within the first 30 degrees of shoulder abduction. She's going to be standing with her arm fully extended, her elbow at zero degrees, and she's going to be pushing out anywhere between uh, zero and 30 degrees while I um, isolate her uh, scapula. So she's pushing against me. I'm pushing into adduction. The next one that we're going to do is going to be the middle deltoid. The middle deltoid is past the 30 degrees, uh, still in shoulder abduction. And so with this one, you can either do it with the arm ex fully extended or you can have her at um, uh, 90 degrees of flexion. Uh, so either, either one is fine. Again, you want to stabilize the shoulder and you're going to have her uh, pull up. In, into abduction against you. And that is for the middle deltoid. Next one is going to be for the anterior deltoid. And for the anterior deltoid, you're going to um, face, face the uh, patient. And what she's going to do is she's going to um, uh, bend her elbow at 90 degrees and then she's going to uh, flex it and internally rotate and again you're going to stabilize the shoulder again and what she's going to do is she's going to um, push up and in kind of as as if she were trying to uh, hit uh, hit the air or hit um, hit my head uh, okay and I'm going to apply resistance against uh, her uh, her arm in that position okay try one and that's for uh, middle deltoid, for or, uh, anterior deltoid. The posterior deltoid, I'm going to have her turn around. And for this one, again, she's going to, her elbow is going to be bent uh, 90 degrees, and uh, 90, about 90 degrees or, or a little bit. Shoulder uh, abduction, and what she's going to be doing with this one is she's going to uh, be bringing her shoulder back and up. Okay. Um, again, just to kind of simulate as if she were going to be hitting me in the chin. Again, while I stabilize the the shoulder, the scapula. Okay, come up. Okay, try it one more time. Okay, and that's posterior deltoid. The next manual muscle test is going to be for the pectoralis major, uh, which has two attachments. The first one is going to be for the clavicular or upper attachment of the pectoralis major. Um, with this one, you want to have the arm fully extended and you want her to flex the shoulder at 90 degrees. And what she's going to be doing is she's going to be horizontally adducting to the opposite shoulder while you stabilize the opposite shoulder. So she, again, you can either apply your resistance on the distal arm or if that's too painful, you can put it on the distal humerus. Um, so again, going, pushing against you, goes to the opposite side, that's horizontal adduction for pectoralis major, clavicular, or upper attachment. The next one is going to be for the sternal or lower attachment. Uh, this is similar. Uh, again, we're going to have her uh, extend the arm and uh, add, flex the shoulder 90 degrees. And what she's going to do in this one is she's going to come across to the opposite set, uh, hip. So I'm going to stabilize the opposite hip and she's going to come across the chest downward um, towards the chest, the opposite hip. Okay, that's the sternal attachment for the pectoralis major. The next one is going to be for the serratus anterior. Uh, the serratus anterior uh, for this one, what they're going to do is again keeping the arm at uh, zero degrees, full extension, flexion at 90 degrees. She's going to make a fist, and what she's going to do with this one, again, you can stabilize the other shoulder if you need to, is she's going to uh, raise her uh, arm, her fist, to the, to the sky while you apply resistance. Uh, so she's doing protraction. Go ahead and do it again. The next one is going to be the pectoralis minor. Again, in the same, same position, and all she's going to be doing with this one uh, again, keeping her arm at the side as she's going to be bringing her uh, shoulder up off the table uh, towards the sky 
uh, while you resist it. And if you need to, you can hold the other arm down. Or you can also do this bilaterally if you want to. And that is going to be pectoralis minor. For the latissimus dorsi, and for this one we're going to have her in a prone position and we're going to slightly uh, hyperextend the shoulder, uh, keeping the arm extended. Uh, and if we needed to, we can hold on to the opposite um, side. Basically what she's going to be doing is she's, she's just abducted maybe about 20 or 30 degrees. And what she's going to be doing is she's going to be coming back as if she were going to um, uh, reach for her uh, back pocket, uh, keeping her uh, elbow extended. So again, she's going to come up, up and back while your resistance is against the um, forearm. That's the latissimus dorsi. Uh, the next one is going to be for the rhomboids. And for the rhomboids, uh, she's going to again keep her arm extended, uh, zero, fully extended. And for this one, she is going to be uh, thumb down. Thumb down for the rhomboid, so she's internally rotated at the shoulder. And again, you can stabilize the scapula. And what she's going to be doing is she's going to be um, bringing her whole arm uh, up towards the, the ceiling. Okay, go ahead. Okay, go ahead. And that's the rhomboids. Uh, just by reversing the thumb, putting the thumb up. Go ahead and put your thumb up. What well, she's going to keep in the arm extended again. Uh, this is going to be for the middle trapezius. The middle trapezius. Uh, again, the shoulder is flexed at uh, abducted to 90 degrees, and she's going to uh, raise her her whole arm towards the towards the sky again. Go ahead. And again, you're stabilizing the the scapula. The next one is going to be for the lower trapezius. And for this one, we're going to abduct the shoulder, ready, to about 180 degrees, and about 150 degrees, excuse me. And she's going to again keep the, the thumb up, and she's going to um, again going to be reaching reaching towards the sky, again while you stabilize the, the shoulder, the scapula. Okay, and that is the, the lower trapezius. Uh, then I'm going to have her go ahead and roll over on your back, please. We're going to test the internal, the internal rotators of the, the scapula, uh, or of the sh shoulder joint, and I might need you to move over just a little bit. Oops, come, I want you, I need your elbow right, right at the edge of the table, there you go. Okay, so for this one, what we're going to do is we're going to have her in um, uh, 90 degrees of abduction. We're also of the shoulder. We're also going to have the elbow um, flexed at uh, 90 degrees. And if I do the first one, internal rotators, I I, I want to always try to to go against gravity. Um, so I'm going to put her in extreme. Um, uh, external rotation so that she can go up against gravity. Uh, I may need to need some padding or some towels or a pillow to help elevate the, the humerus a little bit to make it make it level. Uh, and again, you're going to stabilize the elbow joint and you're going to ask her to come up in this direction in internal rotation. Go ahead. Against resistance. For external rotations, I'm going to put her in, and again, keeping it at 90 degrees of abduction and uh, 90 degrees of elbow flexion. I'm going to have her put her in extreme internal rotation and, and I'm going to have her come up into against gravity into external rotation. Go ahead. And that's for testing your external rotators for your shoulder. And then the last one that we're going to be doing, I'm going to have you uh, go ahead and sit up or stand is going to be for the upper trapezius and for this one all she's going to be doing is raising her shoulder uh, elevating her shoulders you can either do bilateral or you can just do uh, one at a time okay